Hey everyone, it's Craig here, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate quality content on the fly using Content Revenge. But before we jump into that, I just want to tell you I'm using this plugin to build AdSense niche sites, and it's absolutely been killing it in the search engines right now, and it's consistently been killing it even after Google Panda update's been rolled out, which to me is unheard of these days for automated or spun content. I mean, these pages get indexed and rank so well, I have thousands of keywords that rank on the first page of Google. So the way this plugin works, it's just truly unique, and it certainly shows in the amount of money I've been making with AdSense. So with that said, if you haven't checked out the proof page on this website, I suggest you just have a look real quick and just see the revenue that this plugin is responsible for. It's awesome because the revenue it just continues to grow as more and more of my pages get indexed and the best part about it is I've hardly put any work into this um, I mean the plugin totally eliminates the need to create or spin articles and we all know how tedious and time-consuming that is right I mean it's a whole process and it just doesn't seem to me that article marketing has or is as effective as it used to be and I think this plugin is going to be a big game changer in terms of the way people generate their niche sites. So let me show you exactly how this works. We're in the Content Revenge WordPress uh, plugin configuration panel here. So this first section are fields for our authorization keys. And these are blocked out, but we'll show you how to set these up in the training for this plugin. Uh, the next field is the blog category selection so you're able to post keywords to specific categories that you create within WordPress <coughs> excuse me so for this particular instance we have of course our standard on categorized and I've just created one uh, plug in NYC apartments because our blog is uh, in the niche of apartments of New York so the next field here is where you paste your keywords into and you're, you're able to paste up to 1,000 keywords at a time, which means for every keyword, the plugin will generate one specific page for that keyword that's highly optimized for SEO for that keyword. So let's go ahead and paste in. I have some keywords already set up here. I think I grabbed about 200 keywords just for this test. Um, let's go ahead and put them in here and just make sure that there's no line break or space after the last keyword, so just hit delete after that last, last keyword. Um, this next selection here, number of results per post, you can choose between one and 20, and I'll show you exactly what that means when we generate some content. For now, that's not going to make much sense, but after we generate a, uh, some pages, I'll show you what that does. Uh, the next selection here are the post start dates. And for this, you're able to generate, you're able to select a, a starting date for your post going all the way back to 2006. And you're also able to um, select dates going forward so that you can drip feed your blog with content each day all the way through 2016. And the way the, the plugin works is we, we've written a little algorithm that uh, <clears throat> randomly posts between two and four post per day so it's never going to be the same amount of post per day and that looks in that random fashion that just looks more natural to Google so that way you're not posting out the same amount of post every day um, and posting backwards historically here let's say 2006 um, allows you to have content on your blog that shows from several years ago and that looks really good as well as long as your domain obviously is that old um, it also looks good because it makes it seem as if your blog has had content on it for several several years in the past. Okay, so this next selection here, prepend content with, that's not going to make much sense right now, but I'll show you what that does um, when we generate some content. Essentially, it's just a, a field that you can enter either HTML for a banner or for any type of message. If you do CPA or affiliate marketing, you can put a, a, a banner or uh, CPA offer in there and that will allow that banner to be shown on every page above the content that you generate and I'll show you what that looks like um, the next field here allows you to um, specify specific file types 
this the field comes pre-populated with these types of file types right now and you can uh, subtract some of these if you like to customize it a bit more but for now uh, we're going to run this test with all of these uh, different file types and this is the type of content that the plugin uses to generate the content on the page um, the next three selections we I always apply the adult content filter so that way there are no uh, mention of adult type content on any of our pages and the next selection I always do select this because it uh, provides us with image results on the pages okay so before we um, save and generate I'm gonna go to show you our our feed for this blog if you notice our domain for the blog here is apartmentsofnyc.com and the feed apartmentsofnyc.com slash feed I'm going to refresh this just so you can see there are no uh, there is no content in that feed and I'm also going to show you the blog itself is empty I'm going to refresh it so that'll show that there are no posts currently on this blog we do have a warning here this is just a, a widget that I use for this template and it's throwing a warning because there is no content uh, placed in there but as soon as we generate posts that warning will go away for this for this widget okay so let's go ahead and save uh, our selections and hit uh, save here which will generate and again I think I selected roughly 200 keywords for this test so that should take like 15 seconds or so I know that a thousand keywords takes between 40 and 60 seconds and that depends on how fast your server is so we'll wait here just a few more seconds there it is okay so it's telling us here that we've generated 199 posts so 199 posts were just now generated in less than like 15 seconds which is pretty amazing but I think once you see the content you're gonna be even more amazed so I'm gonna refresh the feed here and that should show up with 10 feed items Sometimes the feed takes just a little bit to populate. There it is. Okay, so now we're showing that we do have some feed items in the feed, which is awesome because that gives uh, the Google bot some content to start crawling right away. And we'll refresh the blog here. All right, there's our page. This is our home page of the blog. Here is the banner that I mentioned earlier that we can prepend with HTML content uh, in this field. I just created a simple little banner that says call our leasing office today you can create any banner or put any banner in that uh, in that field and it'll show above the content that's posted let me show you this content real quickly what it looks like here these blue uh, icons represent a word file the red icons represent a PDF file uh, you'll see green in there which represents an Excel S or an Excel spreadsheet um, sometimes those show up in there too I'm going to go to a, a specific um, post here. Let's go to this first post on top. You can see what, how the way you can see the way it looks here with AdSense as well, which is pretty cool because, as you notice, it doesn't look like your typical article slash AdSense page, right? Which everybody for the past number of years has been building. AdSense niche sites with an article that wraps around AdSense and they all look the same, right? This content is extremely unique, not only in the content that it pulls, but also in the way that the page is laid out. We have a randomization filter built into this plugin that pulls content from a huge source of documents, and we have an algorithm built in there that randomizes what it pulls based on relevancy and also based on some randomization numbers that um, are calculated into the algorithm so that way if somebody else is generating a page with this same keyword it's almost impossible if not completely impossible for it to be identical and the reason being I'll show you we have uh, optimized this page layout so that the images are staggered in different spots for every post so if you take a look here okay our first two images are on the left and then it jumps over to an image on the right let's look at another post and you'll see that 
we have three, almost all the images are on the left until the last few down here. And every page is completely different in terms of its layout. That way, these pages leave very little footprint in the way that they're laid out, unlike article pages, which are always laid out almost identical to the thousands of other article pages out there. Um, another cool feature that we've built into this is we've optimized these images to represent the keyword um, in addition to um, the word photos, images, and pictures. So these are optimized and randomized for every page as well. So we have here our keyword, which is Luxury uh, Kitchen New York, and then it says photos. The next one says, I'm sorry, pictures of Luxury Kitchen New York. Remember this one said Luxury Kitchen New York photos. Another one will say images of Luxury Kitchen New York all the way down. All of these are going to be different and randomized. And this will just maybe say the keyword, Luxury Kitchen New York, um, Luxury Kitchen New York images, Luxury uh, Kitchen New York pictures. All of them are completely random from every page that you've generated. And the layout is also randomized. So in terms of SEO, Googlebot has been loving these pages and eating them up. We have, we have over a million pages that have been indexed in a very short period of time with this. And even if other people begin building with this, we have some sites that are on the same topic. The pages are all different and they become indexed as different type of pages versus even your comp competitors or sites that you may build that are on the same topic. So it's really cool. I think you're gonna be amazed at how well this plugin will do for you, especially if you've been doing article marketing, um, spinning articles and the old way of doing it. This just completely revolutionizes uh, the way that people are generating content, or at least the way we've been generating and some of the other people that have been using it. It's been working extremely well for AdSense sites. Um, I also want to point out that these uh, links pointing away from our site are also nofollow links. So I'm going to highlight my nofollow here just to show you this in my toolbar, highlight nofollow links. Um, all of these links pointing out have been optimized so that you don't lose page rank juice uh, from all of these links on your page. So that certainly helps if you're building links to one of your pages. You're able to keep the page rank within your site um, without leaking it. So that's also very cool. Another thing that we've built in is um, automation of, of related tags. So each post will have a unique set of tags that uh, represent the, the main keyword for this particular page. So not only can you potentially rank for the main keyword, but you'll also um, have potential of ranking for multiple keywords related to the tags, and, and these tags are actually pulled from within the content of your page, so they're very relevant to what this page is actually about. Extremely great SEO, okay? Um, again, I can't even tell you how well these pages work in the search engines. A lot of these pages that we've been building, if you're really good at finding niches with very little competition, you'll find that these pages uh, will rank extremely well without any uh, backlinking or maybe just a little backlinking depending on how competitive the terms are, but um, on their own they do extremely well. Um, I think I mentioned earlier we, we chose dates going back to 2007, so this post was published um, allegedly November 17th, 2007, which will make this blog look as if it's had content on it for sev several years going back. Okay. So, I don't even know where to go from here. I mean, that's about it. It's, it's super simple. There's not much else to this. Um, I think that when you pick this up and if you actually put it to use, you're going to see a huge change in the way that uh, your, your content is picked up by, and ranked by Google versus maybe how it was in the past with article marketing. So, I think that's about it. I highly recommend you pick this up and actually put it to use. Um, thanks for watching the video, and I look forward to hearing about your success with the plugin. Thanks a lot.